Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. I want to go over a uh, holster option. Uh, I've got several videos on my concealed carry uh, choice of firearm, and that's the Ruger LCR 38. And the current system that I have been wearing for, it's been over two, maybe even three years, is the Remora holster. And I have to tell you, this is the most comfortable holster that uh, you can buy. And they're very inexpensive, and it, that thing stays right there. I've never had an issue with it moving around or becoming loose. Just never had that problem. But I wanted something for outside the waistband carry. So I purchased this, and this is a Phobus paddle holster for this firearm. And uh, when I got it, I was I was impressed with the quality for the price. I think it was around twenty-two dollars, and it has an adjustment here so you can tighten or loosen the amount of tension on it. Set this over here, and it works. It works really well. Uh, I tried it inside the belt or inside my pants like that and it works fine. I have no no issues there. Uh, I will tell you that if you wear your pants really loose you're going to have to adjust the tension because you're going to want to loose, loosen the tension based upon how tight you wear your belt. Because right there, now I purposely tried to pull it out. Right there, it, it pulled out. So you either need to tighten up your belt or you need to loosen the, the amount of tension that you have on the, the sheath itself. But other than that, um, the, it works really well. Uh, it, it's nice and tight. It's not. I have no uh, worries about this, you know, coming out or falling out. And so I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Now, a couple caveats with this holster that, that I have found. And again, I'm used to wearing a, a Remora. So my Remora, it's just one big, basic piece of dimpled rubber, and it's very. There's no hard edges or corners on it. So it might just be what I'm used to, but with this holster, one thing that I've found, hopefully I am in the picture with this, is if you look right here, you're going to see a metal piece that goes across the paddle part. And that is to keep this from breaking off. So I understand the engineering behind that. That, that makes sense to me. So you've, you have basically have three rivets in there, and that's what keeps this from breaking off. That's how it's actually attached. The problem is those are sharp. Not, not skin-cutting sharp, but they're definitely pointed. So what I've noticed is if I put this inside of my, my jeans or my pants and I sit down and I have my shirt out those poke into your side and you do feel them there's no doubt about it you can definitely feel them now if you put it through your belt like that okay it's not as bad uh, I don't notice it as much but again if you're if you bend over or you're pushing your stomach into that, again, you will feel it. With your shirt tucked in, either way, whether you're on the belt or you're inside your pants, all right, that problem goes away. And I'm okay with that. Again, you know, not every holster is designed perfectly for every single person. And I'm used to the remora, and again, that's just a soft piece, soft piece of rubber. And you can you can basically see this thing here has, I mean, there's nothing. 
uh, the, even this isn't even pointed. That's soft. So that's what I'm used to. But the purpose that, uh, of this holster was so that I had it outside the, the, outside the waistband carry for in the winter. Uh, whether I'm out bushcrafting or hiking or uh, camping or hunting. So typically in that situation, I'm going to have my shirt tucked in. I'm probably going to have a button-up shirt over top of that. And this holster is going to be perfect for that situation. But I thought I would share that with you because, you know, holsters, holsters get expensive. And there's a lot of holsters out there, paddle holsters, that you'll spend a good bit of money on. And if you're law enforcement or you're someone that your life depends on this firearm uh, and, you know, not that it, it, your average person like myself does not de depend on this to possibly save my life someday, uh, but you're someone that uses it a lot and that's your, your business, that's your, that's your job, I understand wanting, you know, a two or $300 uh, system that that makes sense to me. That's your tool. Of, that's the tool of your job. But if you want something that's inexpensive that works really well and is not uh, really cumbersome, like this doesn't bother me. I like the fact that I can take this on and off at will versus having to thread it through my belt every time I need to take it on and off. Because if you're like me, a lot of places that you're going to go. Uh, in your everyday life activities, you can't take a firearm. And so it's nice to have that luxury of being able to take this off, put it somewhere safe, go about your business, come back and put it on uh, very easily. So uh, I would highly recommend this uh, unless, again, unless you're going to go with it up against your skin, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you will definitely feel uh, the, that uh, reinforcement that, that is on the back of that that sheath, uh, but tucked in, not a problem at all. I mean, it, it is a e easy draw. I, I like the fact that you can't take it out unless you're drawing it properly. I mean, you need to draw it straight up and out. Uh, if you try to do it this way, it, it's just going to rock to about that point. Let's see if I can do it, and it stops. It's not going anywhere. It's definitely not coming out this way. So you have to deploy this straight up, straight in. And again, you can adjust it. So uh, I would highly recommend this for outside the waistband carry. It's, it's inexpensive and uh, it just works. And that's what I like about it. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.